Hap for Hap Around the House. We're going to be reviewing Detail Brush Set. It gives you a nylon pair, gives you a brass pair, <laughs> and it gives you a steel pair. They're small brushes. They're not very large, but again, they're just for detailing. So if you're in a tight spot, you need to remove some rust or some paint. And this is your brush set, I guess. So let's open up the package and see what we have. Now these are anywhere from six to four dollars depending on three dollars depending on sale what's going on at Harbor Freight what's going on is at Amazon I'll put a description or I'll put a link down in the description in case if you want to buy them now I have a little bit of rust here we're gonna see if we can remove that with any of these brushes I don't have much hope for the nylons. Generally speaking, I found nylon is generally good for scrubbing if you're degreasing something. You put a little bit of degreaser on there and scrub it down. But let's get everybody in the camera view here. We're going to maybe attack this part right here, which is just, oh, over the years, it's been rubbed. And it has a little bit of rust and corrosion. But yeah, you're going to, yeah, this isn't going to do much. This is the nylon. Now the handles themselves are very breakable and I could although flexible I don't think it's going to break the first couple times you use it so that's not bad these are much heavier the little brushes are have a much thicker and heavier handle and I don't you're not going to break that you're, you're, you're really going to be hard pressed to break it and if you look you can also see that the density of br bristles is a lot different on the smaller brushes compared to the larger one but yeah you're still not going to remove anything Although that is, yeah, that'll clean your fingers off after you're working in a garage. You could take and scrub your fingers with it. That would work really good. But as for doing anything else, it's not going to do much. So the brass one, brass small brush, brass big brush. And you can see that the bristles are, again, a lot denser on the smaller brush. And it is scratching up the surface of the paint a little bit. It's also leaving that brass sheen that you get whenever you're using a brass brush. Let's see if we can get on it a little bit with this one. Yeah, it's not doing too much. Not doing too much. So, I don't know, the brass ones are kind of iffy too. You could use that for cleaning off battery posts, I suppose. And the steel one. Again, same density. Let's see what it does. That's taking, it, that's taking it off. You can see that they're pulling blue paint off, so it's so it's scuffing up the paint pretty good, and it's shining up the metal. Let's go to the little one. Oh yeah, the little one's really nice. I like that. The little one's really pulling up some dust, probably lead-based dust. So yeah, the steel ones work kind of fabulous, but as for the brass ones. And the nylon ones, no. If I was to buy again, I'd probably buy just these. But if you're looking to do degreasing and you have some small parts that need to be degreased or if you have a parts washer, man, that would work okay. If you had a parts washer, this plastic one would be excellent if you had a parts washer. The brass ones would be good for maybe cleaning off terminals on your batteries and if you're going to be doing any soldering of copper pipes. So, heck. Not a total waste. I'd buy them again, I think. Uh, if I had the choice, I'd probably go with all steel, but I'll find uses for these other ones. So, that is the review. I would definitely buy it again. Are they going to be the solve end all for all your wire brushes? No, you're still going to need bigger ones, but if you've got to get in a tight spot, these steel ones are going to come in handy. So, this is Hap for Hap Around the House. Like our videos and subscribe if you like our videos. And thanks for spending time at my house. We'll see you next time.